Okay, and the, the third exercise I'm going to show you is a tricep extension. So I like to do this using kettlebells, but you can use a big dumbbell or a couple of light ones and just cross them over. With a kettlebell, you hold it with your thumbs down. So I hold the handles like this, thumbs down, and I use my legs to inhale, lift up. Watching out for any lighting or uh, low ceilings. From here, I just press, gently press my hips forward and squeeze my glutes, pull my abs in tight. As I bend my elbows, I squeeze them in together and I keep that engagement through my center. At the bottom, I straighten the arm again. I deep breath, breathe in on the way down and I exhale, straighten up. Now, if you feel a little bit underconfident and no one is currently um, supporting you, then just go half, maybe like halfway down and straighten and feel. Because you don't want to get caught in this position and not able to straighten your arms. So just think, go little at first and back up and then make it bigger and back up. Think about squeezing the elbows in towards your head. So not letting them come wide like this, but more squeezing them in as you press up into the chest, bend the legs as you pop it down. Yeah, fun. Real burn on the uh, back of the arms. If your shoulders aren't too open and you feel then when it comes down that it's quite close to your head, then you might be better doing this one um, lying down. Uh, I can show you a quick version of that. So you lie on your foam roller, make sure your head is on it, preferably, and you don't roll off. Okay, and then from here you take the arm slightly back and you just inhale as you take it back and exhale, straighten up. So I keep my elbows in the same place, I keep my abs engaged and I bend and straighten there. It feels a bit less scary um, if you're new to it and it also means if you can't straighten your arms, the floor is just there. And it can rescue your weight. Cool. Yeah, that's a lot.